Hello there, Drupal goers, and today we have another exciting episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. We are on episode number 34. I'm Shane, and as always, you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3, or go ahead and sign up for the CodeKarate.com newsletter so you can get some additional exciting screencasts that I'll be releasing here in the next month or so. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. And today we're going to go over a very simple module. It's Monday and I wanted to try to create the shortest daily dose of Drupal episode I've ever created. So I'm going over a very simple module that was recommended to me after uh, a few people have seen me struggle to search through the modules page when some of the websites that I've been working on have gotten extremely lengthy in the number of modules that are installed on the Drupal website. So the module we're looking at today is called Module Filter and all it does is one very cool task of allowing you to easily find things on the module page. So if you come here to our test website you can see that the module page right now it's there's not a ton of modules but you can see that it has gotten already quite long just because of the core section and all the different sections of modules that will eventually be here and if you get on an even bigger site there can be 20 or 30 of these different groupings before you and, and that's only on even a medium sized site it can get even bigger so what we're going to do is we're going to install this module filter module and we're going to see what that does as I said before this will be extremely quick but it is an extremely useful module so I will come back to the modules page after I downloaded that using Drush and if you scroll down you will see that I have the module filter module here I'm going to turn that on and click save and immediately you'll see a difference the module page now you can see there are tabs on the side there's a search box here I can select what I want to search through depending on if I only want to show enabled disabled required modules it tells me how many modules are turned on or installed in each section and I can go ahead and start searching so if I start searching you can see it immediately eliminates those that don't match and it just makes it extremely simple so I'm going to use the module filter to find the module filter module if that makes sense so I can go to the configuration page there's not a lot of configuration options as I said this is an extremely simple module but it allows you to specify whether you want to sort it into tabs or not and then within the tabs some different options which do you want to show the number of enabled modules do you want visuals for the newly enabled and disabled modules and then you know another developmental setting here so if I turn the tabs off and save configuration you notice these will go away as soon as I refresh now there's no tabs on the side so it looks closer to what it did before but of course the filter still works so that's all there is today like I said it's an extremely short episode but this is an, an administrative module that is extremely useful especially on large websites where you have to turn on and off modules or if you find yourself having to try to do a control F and searching through the modules page it doesn't really work because for instance if I wanted to do a control F and search for taxonomy you'll notice that I'm not actually getting the taxonomy module I'm getting other modules that have the taxonomy module required or required by so as I said before extremely simple but effective module go ahead and try it let me know if you know of any other modules you want me to demo and that's it for this time on the daily dose of Drupal thanks for watching